In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use Google Drawings. And what I'm going to be doing is basically just making like a little sort of a face of, uh, of myself. And I'm not very artistic, but I will show you how you could do that in Google Drawings. So Google Drawings, if you don't know, is inside Google Drive. Go under New, and generally you have to go into the More, and you'll find it here. It says Google Drawings. If you go into this, it's a very, very simple sort of a drawing program. Um, takes a second just to load up here. I'll just close that. And here we go, okay? So the checker marks in the background, that sort of means that the background is transparent right now. And I can draw anything I want. I could do all kinds of shapes. I could draw text on here, lines, all kinds of things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my page size. I'm going to turn it into... Uh, a custom size. I want it to be eight and a half, so 8.5 by 11. That's like a standard piece of paper. There we go. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it. I don't want it to say untitled drawing. I'm going to call it my face. Now, to do my face, I'm going to, I'm not going to do the complete exact thing, but I'm going to show you how to get started with at least with it. Generally, what you want to do is go under shapes, and you could start probably with an oval. And do something maybe like that for me. Now the default is this blue color, and I don't really want that color, so I can change it here. And sometimes it's kind of hard, you know, you just do your best here to pick a color that works. But that's close enough for what I'm looking for here. So there's the outline of my face. Next thing I can do is I can start making some eyes. So again, what I can do is I can use my shape here something along the lines of this and again it's blue let's make it white like that and then finally i'm just going to put in like a little pupil or something here oh that's off a little bit there <laughs> let me let me undo that okay and i'll just put that like a like a dark kind of a brown color like that now, sometimes, just to let you know, sometimes what you might want to do, actually, is to duplicate an eye. So, say I said, you know what, I really like the way I did my eye. It's pretty good. I need to make a second one. What you could do is you could actually group these. If you highlight it all, and you go under Arrange, and it says Group, you can group it together like it's like one object now. And what you could do is you could duplicate this. So you could go edit and copy and paste, or under edit it says duplicate. So you could duplicate the eye, and what you could even do is you could flip it. So to flip it, we go under, where are we here? Arrange, rotate, flip horizontally. There we go. So now I've got two eyes identical. This one's kind of flipped. Uh, not it looks funny, kind of funny because my eyes are sticking out, but <laughs> you get the idea. That's very useful for things like eyebrows. You know, if you've done eyebrows and you're really happy with one of them, you could do that. Be careful. Sometimes things will end up underneath. So, like if I right click this thing and go to order and go send to back, sometimes it'll be underneath like that. If it does that and you need to pull it forward, you just right click it, order, and bring to front or bring forward. So to right click, you just hit uh, control and then click at the same time. And order is how you send everything forwards or backwards. So control click. Now I can do the same thing with my nose and my mouth and all that, exactly the same process. And you could sort of figure that out. There's uh, different moon shapes people have used before for the mouth, like uh, this one here. People have used this for the mouth and you take that and then you rotate it. You know, things like that you can do. If you want to do hair, um, there's a number of ways you can do hair. So the easiest way, I believe, is the curve. So if you click it, and you just sort of keep clicking along, and you may have like make like this wavy kind of a shape. So I'm clicking, 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 clicking. I'm doing long hair even though I don't have long hair. I'm just showing you the process. Clicking, and then if you connect it, it fills in solid. And you can change the color there if you want. So if I want like a dark brown here, there we go. Another option that is a bit trickier, 
would be the scribble tool. So you can do like different lines. And what you can do is you can make the line different thicknesses. So you can make it thicker if you want. So stuff like that. That works really good for eyebrows, for example. So what you could do is you could zoom in lots. And you can start doing like eyelashes like that. Well, not that thick, obviously, but... Okay, people do eyelashes like this and eyebrows, same thing. Okay, so the, the thing about Google Drawings, like I said, to, to do pictures like this, it is a bit tricky. It's not the same as using Photoshop. Uh, so it does take some effort to actually make it look good. But this is what I want you to do at this stage. Just get used to the shapes, get used to filling in the colors and things like that and try to make your face look as accurate as possible when you draw this out. And uh, again, just do your best with this and that's all that anybody asks with Google Drawings.